Uh, this is Eternal Blade, and uh, welcome to part 10 of the Orca Gunwagon tutorial. Okay, um, let's start by finish putting these, or finishing these rivets. So, run script, placement tool, set select the source, pick distribution one, and start placing them. Okay, um, close that out. Next, let's create just some little cylinders here using auto grid. Okay, bring their segment or their uh, sides down to six. Right. Make sure they have a chamfer on the top. Okay. Work to an editable poly. Slide it over. And slide those over. Put them all and slide them over to the other side. Okay. Right. Uh, now I was looking at the picture and I figured out that I have to actually move this piece up a bit. So select the vertices, go into perspective, and just move it up. Just so that you can see it, I guess. Alright, that was good. Um, next, let's create a box. About uh, here looks pretty good. Create a box length of 21, width of 17, height of 0.4. Convert it to an editable poly. Put polygon mode uh, chamfer. Give it a small chamfer. Okay. Um, then let's. Uh, uh, let's just use this rivet. Copy it so it's kind of on there and drag it out a bit. Okay. Drag it to the other side while copying. Right. Get those two and drag them down so that the bottom there. Okay. Uh, and let's some variation here, so uh, select the bottom edge there, uh, connect, give them about two, uh, seven connects, looks pretty good. Right, now I'll select these inside ones right there, give them an inset by polygon of about 0.27. Bevel them uh, and make it so they go inward. And give them an inward bevel uh, height of negative 0.2, outline amount of negative 0.11. All right, and uh, just to orcify things, select all those rivets you just made, if you can find them. That is. And then select the purple thing and just give it a rotate about five degrees. Uh, next, let's um, build uh, some things on top of this because it looks kind of blank. So, make a cylinder. Cylinder radius of about 0.35. All right, sink it down in there. Bring these sides up to about 20. Uh, convert to an editable poly. Go to polygon. Get that chamfer the edges. Okay, chamfer about 0.11. Uh, 
uh, get this inside polygon, inset it. Okay. Give it a bevel with a height of about 0.8, outline amount of negative 0.26. Uh, chamfer the edges again and inset it again about ne er, 0.92 extrude it about oh, what's that look like? about negative 0.1 bevel it so it goes down alright you have that piece and slide it over a bit and just copy it again Okay. Um, and let's see. I'm going to want to make another cylinder in here. So just create a cylinder and using the align tool, align it. Uh, go back to it. Uh, increase the radius so that it fills up this almost, but leave a small gap. Increase the height a bit so it's about halfway. Uh, convert it to an editable poly. Going to be polygon mode. I uh, use hinge from edge, pick hinge. Oops. Make sure you pick the right hinge. Hinge from edge. There you go. Uh, do it about 95 degrees with five segments. Okay. And extrude it just so it reaches in there. And uh, you can rotate it whatever way you deem necessary. Copy it to the other side. Okay. Uh, use the align tool to align it. And uh, bring it up. And rotate it. And uh, if it's coming out like this, you can just uh, select that polygon and just drag it down. Okay, and uh, also we have to put smooth modifiers on these. So in this uh, dialog, go to smooth, auto smooth, and then just drag it onto that one, and also drag that onto this big piece right there. Okay, uh, back piece is done. Uh, let's see, next let's build. What do we have over there? Okay, um, select this, go to polygon, right, inset, okay, use the scale tool, so you create a smaller box, like that, drag it oops, over, and scale it up, or down a bit, and move it up. Okay, and for this one, let's, uh, bevel it in, so make a height of negative 0.1, actually negative 0.3, okay, um, extrude it inward about negative 1.15, then give it another bevel, okay, and let's see, uh, I'm going to create little heat uh, vents, I guess. So hit F3, increase the height till you reach the bottom piece right there. And uh, you can decrease the segments to about 12. Okay. Uh, you can make as many of these as you want. Copy and copy again, and select all of them and just uh, center them up. Uh, all right, that'll be it for part ten. I'll see you in part eleven.